Hey, bro. All right, this is uh, Roman. I had to fix the camera because the battery's about to go out. But anyway, go ahead, bro. This is Romans chapter 12, verse 2. Chapter 12. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Yeah. Paul is speaking to the Israelites that was in Rome, and he was telling them, look, be renewed in your mind, man. Don't be like the rebellious two-thirds, man. Okay? Don't be stiff-necked. Okay? Don't revolt from your how about you now shot, man. Okay? And we're telling you the same thing today. Man, it's getting cold out here. Let them drop it, boy. Go ahead, bro. That ye may prove what is what is that good and acceptable and perfect will will of the power. Yeah, so when you get renewed in your mind and you understand these scriptures, you're supposed to teach other other Israelites to repent and teach them the characteristics of your house you know, the statue of the commandment, man. And tell them to come back, man. That's what you're supposed to do, man. As a beloved servant of Yahweh Shemel Shah, man. Go ahead, bro. It's so up, verse 3. For I say, through the grace given unto me, to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think. The reason why Paul is saying that because this influence and this understanding that you get and that you got, you can get it on your own, man. So don't be proud. And don't be high-minded because you understand this. You didn't get it on your own. Okay? Just like you got it, same way you got it, the most I can take it away, man. Okay. So he's telling you, he's giving you a warning, man. Don't, don't, don't be high-minded like that, man. Don't think that you on a level to where the Heavenly Father and His Son, you get so proud to where the Heavenly Father and His Son can... And, uh, uh, you get so proud to where you think you better than the other Israelites. You know what I'm saying? Nah, you don't do that, man. Okay? Go ahead. But to think soberly according, according as the Most High has dealt to every man the measure of faith. See? The measure of faith, man. Because men got a certain amount of faith, man. And then with that faith, you get a, 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 a certain measurement of ability, man. Some brothers can go deeper into the scripture, and some brothers can't. Okay? But if the, the Heavenly Father give you a, enough measurement according to your faith to where you still can teach other Israelites, but you don't be proud behind it. Okay? Brothers got different measurements, man. You can't you can't make a, a brother have more more for the same measurement as you. It's impossible, man. It's, 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 it's by the faith of Yahweh Bashim al Shah, and that's the reason why he got a particular measurement, man. Okay? The brother can pray for more, okay? But it's up to the Heavenly Father and His Son. The Heavenly Father and His Son give him enough where he can handle it, man. Because you don't want that brother to be destroyed and get too much measurement, man. And get destroyed, man. And then you look at, man, what happened to the brother, man? Hey man, you tried to force, you tried to force more measurement on him, man. And you caused the brother to fall out. It's like different, different parts, different parts of the body. Yeah, you know, different you parts you of the body, force, man. You can't force, uh, you can't force an arm to do what a leg can do. No, you, you know can't man? do that, man. So read that again, bro. This is uh, Romans chapter twelve, verse three. For I say, through the grace given unto me, to every man that is among you. Not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think. Yeah, you don't you don't look down on other Israelites, man. Just cause they don't understand what you understand, man. Okay? Or can do or uh, uh, I mean you can encourage brothers to do more, but you don't force it on them to where they would uh, uh end up getting uh spit out, man. Because you're trying to force it on them, man. Nah, you don't do that, man. You'll end up calling the brother to be destroyed, man. Bug out. A bug out, man. Okay. And then look at him and say, oh, he wasn't part of the elect. Nah, man. You force it on him. Look what you done to him. You were driving him. Nah, man. You got to be patient with brothers, man. Go ahead. 
but to think soberly according as the Most High has dealt has dealt to every man the measure of faith. The measure of faith. And with that faith, it comes understanding, man. Okay? So you can pray. You can pray. You having faith in Yahweh Shemel Shai. You can pray for more understanding or more measurement. But it's up to Yahweh Shemel Shai, man. Okay? Go ahead. For as we have many members in one body, for we have many members in one body, man. So brothers, some brothers got a large amount of measurement, some brothers don't, man. But you don't look down on them because he uh, ain't got the same amount of measurement as you do, but you can encourage him. You can tell him, hey, brother, pray about it. You know, pray about it. And Lord willing, if the most high see fit, then he'll give you that measurement. But you just don't force it on him. You know, uh, give him an ultimatum. Man, shh. Jake, man. Jake, Jake is shallow, man. Jake, Jacob becomes shallow, man, and end up causing brothers to, to fall out, man. And then blame it on the Heavenly Father and the Son and say, oh, well, he wasn't part of the elect. Nah, what you doing to that brother? You know? Go ahead, bro. And all members have not the same office. All members have not the same office, man. Let's see, let's see what it's going into. Go ahead. So we being many are one yeah, body in a Mashiach. Mm -hmm. And every one member of every one member one of another. Mm -hmm. Having then gifts differing according to the grace that is given to us. See? So when you come in this truth, for you ones that set up the teeth or are coming back to the Heavenly Father and His Son, understand that these men that's out here on these streets got different gifts, man. They got different, uh, uh, different measurements, and different uh, understanding. Meaning, some brothers got more understanding and some brothers don't. But the brothers who don't have more understanding I mean, the brothers who have less understanding don't look down on them, man. Okay? Because the Heavenly Father got a set time to where he gonna increase their brother based off his faith. That's just what it is, man. Okay? So, this all I want is it Simone in? That was his first five. Alright. So, you gotta be renewed in your mind, man. You know, you got to be renewed in your mind and repent and come back to y'all about Shemel Bishai, man. All right, it's a process. I mean, the scriptures is up there. You know, we we we, we, at the, we at the end, man. We at the end of this thing, man. Things are fast-paced, man. So the scriptures is up there, man. It's up to you and y'all about Shemel Bishai to, to sit down and look at these lessons that these brothers put putting out, man. Because if you don't look at the lessons, man, and you just go in your daily life, you know, and not reading and not looking up the lesson, man, and not praying, of course you're not going to increase, man. Of course you're not. There's no way, man. You ain't even, you ain't even putting forth an effort. All these videos out here, there's really no excuse, man, for, for uh, brothers not to pray. There's really no excuse for brothers not to pray and not to look up and not to look at videos, man, and not to read. There's really no excuse, man. But it's up to y'all about Shemel Washai whether that brother get increased, man. Okay? So the videos are out there, okay? And you brothers that uh, ain't paying attention and studying like you're supposed to, you better keep in the back of your mind the family of the word coming soon and you're going to be stuck if you don't get it. Okay? Go ahead. Yeah, I had, I had a little bit more. Uh, okay, go ahead. Slack about that. Whether prophesied let us prophesy according to the proportion of faith. See, to the proportion of faith, man. So certain when it when it when it it dealing with faith and it dealing with measurement, man, and it dealing with teaching, man, and prophesy, man. So brother, when you understand that, man, certain brothers got different measurements, man. Okay, not everybody can go in deep water, but you do, you do. According to your ability, man. You know, you do according to your ability, man. 
But like I was saying, there's no excuse that uh that if you truly believe in the Heavenly Father and the Son and you got faith, there's no excuse uh that you can come up with to where you shouldn't be able to study and watch videos. You know what I'm saying? There's no excuse, well, man, because they out there, man. Bro, we constantly putting up videos daily. Okay? So give me uh the call and read it again, bro. This is uh Romans chapter 12, verse 6. Having then gifts differing according to the grace that is given to us, whether prophesied, let us that's prophecy. <laughs> like, rather prophecy, let us prophesy according to the portion of faith. Uh, give me what you got in uh, Revelation. This is uh, the book of Revelation, chapter 3, and verse 20. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and I will sup with him. Yeah, when you first come into this thing, you know, you are, uh, you are, uh, you just now learning and you have to watch the elders constantly, constantly, constantly. And when you first in it, you, you are, uh, uh, you're a mockingbird. But as time goes on, if Yahweh Shema was shot see fit, then Yahweh Shah starts supping with you. But that don't mean that you get proud and you get a big head, okay? Just because you understand things more than other brothers, okay? Let me say that. But Yahweh Shah will start dealing with you, and you will no longer be become a uh, no longer be a mockingbird because you will understand. Isn't it like when you're when you're growing up, you repeat the same things your parents say. But when you grow, when you start growing, you you start st you stop repeating what they say, okay? And you start doing, you know what I'm saying? You start looking into things more than what you were doing when you were little, when you were growing up. So you start looking into things. So that's the way the Heavenly Father is would do you in this truth. First you learn, you see the elders, you start learning and you grow and you when you come out here and teach, you start uh you still a mockingbird. Okay? But as you grow, the Heavenly Father and the Son suck with you and you're no longer a mockingbird. You just don't say uh everything that the elders say. As long as it's the correct doctrine. Okay? You just don't repeat everything they say. As long as it's correct doctrine. Okay? They might go into a lesson, you might go into something else. Okay? You not you're not uh doing a lesson like they do. You might do another lesson, different lesson. You 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 no longer a mockingbird, man. So that's all that's going into. Go ahead, bro. Okay, this is the uh, book of Revelation 3 and 20. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and will sup with him and he with me. Go ahead. To him that overcometh will I grant to sit with me mm -hmm. in my throne, even as I I also overcame mm -hmm. and, and sat down with my father in his throne. Mm -hmm. He that have an ear, let him hear what the Spirit said unto the churches. All right, so with that, i like to give all, y'all both got anything to do? All right, so with that, I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rekha Kodash, and double honors to the elders of Pastor GMS who rule well. Salute you, brothers, pushing this word and truth, sincerity, and strength by Yahweh Shah. So, with that, a waffle Babylon, a waffle Babylon, a waffle Babylon, a waffle Babylon, and my waffle two thirds shallow one. Stay strong and search the scriptures. Lord willing, the family word comes soon.